Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and in this video we can see how we can add and configure Kamunda in our Spring Boot project. First, we are going to create a new project for start Spring IO. For Java version, I will select 11 and I will add on the Spring Web as a dependency. I created the project previously and I opened in IntelliJ. Let's see in the documentation what we should add as a dependencies for Kamunda. We can see that we should add the starter web app and we will add HT database and JXB implementation. So let's copy this stuff and add in our pom XML file. So I will add Kamunda Spring Boot version in the pomixml properties. And let's see what is the version. It's 7.15.0. So I will copy this and I will re-import. And that's all what we should add. So we are ready to build and run our application. But before that, uh, let's put some configuration on it. So it's a simple configuration for our uh, Kamunda. And we can just copy this configuration that is from documentation and we can add in our application YAML file. Let's rename it for properties to YAML and I will copy this. What we have here is uh, an admin user for Kamunda with username demo and password demo and we created a simple filter and task list with name all tasks. Let's just add also a server port 7001 uh, for our Spring Boot application to be started. And we are done and we can run our application. So after application is started, we can open uh, the Kamunda UI with the root URL, localhost 7001. And you can see we have this login screen from Kamunda where we can log in with our username demo and our password demo. And we are successfully logged in and we can sell the Kamunda UI with cockpit, task list and admin panel. And that's all for this video. If you like it, you can subscribe to the channel and all of the links and Git repo you can find in the description. Thank you for watching.